गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट साइराम लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टेन मैंसुरेशन चिल्ड्रन इन टू डे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट वन प्लीज हैव अ पेन एंड नोटबुक इन योर हैंड्स एंड नोट डाउन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वी डिस्कस टूडे सो नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर्टीन एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट वन दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ फेंसिंग अ रेक्टेंगुलर पार्क ऑफ लेंथ सेवेंटी वन मीटर एंड ब्रेथ वन मीटर एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व पर मीटर सो वी हैव अ रेक्टेंगुलर पार्क ऑफ लेंथ वन मीटर एंड ब्रेथ वन मीटर्स we have to uh, find the cost of fencing this rectangular park that means putting a fence all around the boundary of this park at the rate of rupees 12 per meter so how do we solve this we first find the perimeter of the rectangular park and then we find the cost of fencing the park so what is the length of the rectangular park it is 175 meter breadth is 125 meter so since it's a rectangular park so which formula we apply here to find the perimeter it is 2 into length plus breadth length is given 175 meter and breadth is 125 meter so it becomes 300 so we have 2 into 300 so it becomes 600 meters so what is the perimeter of the rectangular park it is 600 meters now we know that cost of fencing 1 meter is rupees 12 so what will be the cost of fencing 600 meter it will be 12 multiplied by 600 so it is 7200 so what will be the cost of uh, fencing the end uh, the park rectangular park it will be rupees 7200 let's move on to the next problem problem number 15 this is also a very important problem there's a girl sweety who runs around a square park of side 75 meter and bulbul runs around a park which is rectangular and whose length is 60 meter and breadth is 45 meter so who covers less distance what we have to do we have to find the perimeter of the square park and the perimeter of the rectangular park and then we compare who runs less so what is the information given the side of the square park is 75 meter and the side of uh, the length of the rectangular park around which bulbul runs is 60 meters and breadth is 45 meters so let's find the perimeter of the square park what will be the perimeter of square park it is 4 into a 4 into side that means 4 into a so 4 into 75 because we know the side is 75 so it is 300 meters so the perimeter of the square park is 300 meters and sweety runs are, runs the distance of 300 meters now what is the perimeter of the rectangular park around which bulbul runs perimeter of the rectangular park can be found by using this formula 2 into length plus breadth we know the length is 60 meters and uh, breadth is 45 meters so 60 plus 45 becomes 105 so 2 into 105 becomes 210 meters so the perimeter of the park rectangular park around which bulbul runs it is 210 meters now we can compare both the distances so the distance covered by sweety is 300 meter and the distance covered by bulbul is 200 meters who runs less obviously bulbul runs less distance so bulbul runs less distance that is distance of 200 meters next problem problem number 16 what is the perimeter of each of the following figures what do you infer from the answers so we have to find the 
perimeter of the given figures. Here is figure 1. We have a square here and the side of the square is 25 centimeter, isn't it? So, what will be the perimeter of this square? It will be 4 multiplied by side, 4 into side, A is the side, isn't it? So, it will be 4 into 25, that means it is 100 centimeter, 100 centimeter. It is very important that always we write the unit that means centimeters or the meters of uh, the per, uh, perimeter that we find out. Now next is the perimeter of this rectangle. Length is given 40 uh, centimeters, breadth is 10 centimeters, isn't it? So what is what will be the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD? It will be 2 into length plus breadth. Then we put the value of length here 40 and breadth is 10. So it becomes 2 into 50. So what will be the perimeter of this rectangle? It will be 100 centimeters. Now let's move on to the third figure, figure number 3. Here we have a rectangle again. The length is 30 centimeter, breadth is 20 centimeter. So we find the perimeter by using this formula 2 into length plus breadth. So, it becomes 2 into 30 plus 20, isn't it? So, it is 2 into 50, again we get the perimeter as 100 centimeter, 100 centimeters. Now, this is for figure number 4, figure 4 is a, an equilateral, no, it is not an equilateral, it is an isosceles triangle and we have two sides of 30 centimeters each and one side is 40 centimeters. So, what will be the perimeter of this triangle? It will be sum of all its sides, isn't it? AB plus BC plus CA. That means 30 plus 40 plus 30. And what do we get? We get 100 centimeter by adding these sides, the length of these sides. So, we can see that in all the figures, we get the perimeter as 100 centimeters. So, the perimeter of all the figures, uh, figure number 1, 2, 3 and 4 is same, it is 100 centimeters. Now, question number 17. Avni buys 9 square paving lap, uh, slabs, each with a side of half meter. He lays them in the form of, of a square what is the perimeter of his arrangement. So, let us look at this figure. So, he has uh, 9 slabs of half meter each. So, he puts them like this in the form of a square. So, what will be the perimeter of this arrangement? We know that each square is half meter, is not it? Now, if each square square tile is half meter then side AB will be 3 upon 2 is not it? It will be 3 into half 3 uh, uh, squares we have. So, it will be 3 into half means 3 upon 2. Similarly, side BC will also be 3 upon 2 and side CD will also be 3 upon 2 meters and side AD will be 3 upon 2 meters. So, what will be the perimeter of the square? The perimeter of the square arrangement will be 4 into side and we know that each side is 3 upon 2 meters. So, 4 into 3 upon 2 becomes 6 meters, is not it? So, what will, be the, what will be the perimeter of the square arrangement? It will be 6 meter. Now, Sherry does not like this arrangement. She gets uh, him to lay them uh, like a cross. Okay? So, the 9 tiles are uh, put in the form of a cross. So, what will be the perimeter of this arrangement? This is a cross. Now, when we observe the arrangement carefully, we can see that here AB will be half meter, is not it? Because each square is of side half meter. So, AB will be half meter. BC since it has 2 squares, so it will be 1 meter. 
CD will be 1 meter, DE will be half meter, FE will be half uh, 1 meter, FG will be 1 meter, GH will be half meter, HI will be 1, IJ will be 1, JK will be half, isn't it? KL will be 1 and LA will be 1. Based on this, we find the perimeter of this cross arrangement. So, here that is what we have shown here, AB is 1 into half, that means it is half, half meter, isn't it, half meter and uh, similarly DE is half meter, HG is half meter and KJ is half meter. So, we have 4 halves, 4 into half will become what? It will become 2 meters, isn't it? It becomes 2 meters. Now. Now we can see this also I have explained BC is 2 tiles that's, that means 2 into half becomes 1 meter and CD also is 1 meter, EF is 1 meter, FG is 1 meter, isn't it? HI is 1 meter, IJ is 1 meter, then KL is also 1 meter and LA is 1 meter. So we have 8 into 1 that means 8 meters. Based on this we can calculate the perimeter. So what will be the perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the sides. So we have described all the sides here and put the measurement of all the sides here. So it is 1 plus half plus 1 plus 1 plus half plus 1 plus 1 plus half plus 1 plus 1 plus half plus 1. So, when we add them we get 10 meters. So, what is the uh, perimeter of this cross arrangement? It is 10 meters. Alright. Now, which one has a greater perimeter? We have found out that in the square arrangement the perimeter is found to be 6 meters, isn't it? It is 6 meters. And what is the perimeter when we lay down the 9 squares in the form of a cross? It is 10 meters, isn't it? So, which one has greater perimeter? Sherry's arrangement, this figure 2 has greater perimeter, this one has greater perimeter. Now, Avneet wonders if there is a way of getting an even uh, greater perimeter. Can you find of doing this? So, we have to, we can try and put the 9 slabs in such a way that we can get greater perimeter. How do we do this? Let us look at this arrangement. Here we have laid down the 9 squares in straight line. So, here we have A, B, C, D. So, what will be the length of A, B? It will be 9 into half, isn't it? Because 9 slabs we have put one beside the other. So, it will be 9 squares 9 into half that is 9 upon 2 meters. So, AB is 9 upon 2 meters. AB is 9 upon 2 meters. So, CD will also be 9 upon 2 meters, isn't it? And here BC will be half and also AD will be half meter. So, how do we find out, find its perimeter? So, here same thing we have shown AB is 9 into half that means 9 upon 2 meters. So, similarly CD will also be AB and CD will be of 9 upon 2 meters and AD will be half meter and BC will be half meter. So, what is the perimeter of this arrangement? It will be sum of all the sides. So, AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. So, it is 9 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 9 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2. So, what do we get? We get 20 upon 2 which is equal to 10 meters. So, in this arrangement we find the perimeter to be equal to 10 meters. Now, let us look at this kind of arrangement. If we put the sla uh, slabs, square slabs like this, then we find AB as 
half meter isn't it bc will also be half meter isn't it and de will be half meter isn't it af will be 1 meter cd will be 7 multiplied by half means it is 7 upon 2 meters and ef will be equal to 4 meters because it is 8 upon 2 meters so now based on this we can find the perimeter so perimeter will be sum of all the sides that means ab plus bc isn't it sum of all the sides ab plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef plus af when we add them up what do we get we get 10 meters isn't it so here we get the perimeter as 10 meter you can try different arrangements and find out the perimeter so another case can be like this we can uh, keep the squares like this and find the perimeter so here again ab will be half meter bc will be half meter again and ef is half meter and fg will be half meter and ah will be 1 meter and what will be de it will also be 1 meter and cd will be 3 meters is because it is 6 multiplied by half that is 3 meters and gh will also be equal to 3 meters because it is again 6 into half now we can find the perimeter by adding the lengths of all the sides so it is sum of all the sides ab plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef plus fg plus gh plus ah and what do we get we get 5 plus 5 that means 10 meters by adding all the sides so again we get the perimeter as 10 meters so there is no other combination of these squares for which perimeter can be more than 10 meter so we have tried different kinds of arrangements and maximum perimeter that we have found out that is 10 meters if you can try uh, you can uh, arrange the squares in different way and find the perimeter children this is the last problem of this exercise we will uh, learn a new concept in our coming session till then bye and thank you